Hey, hit the bell icon after subscribing to get notifications. New content uploads every Wednesday. Enjoy the video. Yo, what is up, people? Uh, today's video, I want to do something different. Uh, something I want to do for a very long time, but I kept putting it off until I got better at editing. So, in today's video, um, I'm going to show you how I think three of the least used operators in Rainbow Six Siege can be improved. I think they have a lot of potential, but... Uh, you know, they're just stuck at how they are, no one uses them for that reason. So, these three people would be IQ, Tachanka, and Blitz. So, I'm gonna start with IQ first. Uh, she's not a bad operator, she's pretty useful. She can see electronics through walls, she can even pick up pulse, bombs, you know, anything electronically she's gonna pick up on her little um, gadget screen on her hand. I'm guessing Ubisoft wanted um, people to play together, so someone would pick Twitch. Someone will pick IQ and some else will go as Thatcher so you know they can all deal with electronics. If you know the enemy team likes to play Mute, Bandit, and Jaeger, then the three of y'all work together to take them down. But um, I think no one uses Twitch, not Twitch, uh, <laughs> IQ. Yeah, I think no one uses IQ because of how her you know ability or gadget works. You kind of have to put down your primary. And you only start with your pistol. And if you're trying to like locate the bomb or look for electronics, and you turn a corner and it's you and an enemy, nine times out of ten you're gonna lose that firefight because you just have a sidearm and you know they have like an SMG or you know something like that, something more powerful than your little pistol, and you're gonna lose. So for that reason, I don't think people like to pick IQ. Now, I could be wrong, there could be other reasons that people don't like to play IQ, but I'm actually curious to find out. So, if you, if there's a particular reason that you don't play IQ, then you could leave it in the comment section down below. But, um, Ubisoft has given her frags in a few latest patches, so that's good. Um, you can see where the mute jammer or bandit battery is, and you can roll a grenade underneath the door and destroy it. That's... A step closer for her being a little bit more useful and not relying so much on you know other people but I think there's an even better way to fix this like I said the problem is probably you have to put down your primary when you're using her ability so to fix this I think we should um, use something that's right in the game look at Jackal he is, his headgear actually does something it's not just there for an accessory he, Presses a button and you know displays footsteps uh, in his visor, and I think we could use that for IQ. Take the blue screen off of her hand and put it on like a visor for her headgear. So there's a video that I put together to show how it would actually look. We have the jackal visor, and I edited over her little blue screen right in the middle to show how it would look if you know they put the blue screen on a visor for her, and we would not have to put away our primary. And we have grenades, I think this would be much better. I would feel more inclined to use IQ if I know I didn't have to put away my uh, primary just to use her ability. The video kind of goes out of sync at the end, but yeah, I, I think you get the concept of what I was going for. Uh, I also discovered this today while testing out IQ with a friend. Did you know that her little gadget picks up the sonic pulse from Echo's drone? Uh, if you didn't, then check out this video right here. Um, your eyes are going to have to be pretty quick to pick it up uh, if you're actually playing in-game, but if I was regularly playing IQ, I would miss this, but I'll slow it down here and you could see the numbers um, actually going down as the wave gets closer and closer to you. I don't know, just something cool I discovered today. So moving on, uh, I don't think they would have to model an entirely new headgear for IQ. There's already a headgear in the game that I think would suit this purpose just fine. Um, it's called Flak. And you can find it in the store. And this is what it looks like. And that little part there that's covering her eye, that's what it would look like from the outside. And from the inside, it would look like the video I just showed you. And yeah, I think that would go good together. Um, they would just have to take off that part and, I guess, copy and paste it on any other headgear with the same color. And uh, yeah, I think that would work out. And... The more reason I think this would work out because we have seen it being done already with Tachanka. Uh, they have taken his mounted LMG and they've tweaked it, came out with a whole backstory on the Ubisoft page. 
and they added the bulletproof glass onto it. So that gives me even more reason why I think that this can actually be done. They do the same thing, come up with a story and say this is why they took it off of her hand and gave her own visor, etc. And that's how I think we could improve IQ. So next up is Blitz. Yes, hashtag buff Blitz. That's been going on for quite a while and we still haven't seen any changes to him. Uh, I actually got the inspiration for this idea from another YouTuber I watched called Pete. And he did, did a video on how he thinks we could improve Blitz. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go watch that video if you feel like. Um, he was basically suggesting that there be like some kind of overlay on the ground showing um, when people when we would be able to flash people like the distance so there'd be like red zone and a yellow zone so if they come into a yellow zone then you know they would get the, the flash effect if you press the button I like this idea but I don't think it's practical to be you know walking around for overlay on the ground all the time that would be pretty distracting um, if you're playing siege you know shit can get pretty hectic real quick so although I like that idea I think we should use something that's actually in the game um, LEDs and sensors. Uh, we can find them on the breach charges and on Mira's mirror when you put them up. So we would be able to take these and put these in front of Blitz's shield so you would know how close an enemy is to you and if you press a button whether he would get flashed or not. Because for right now you just basically, you we're playing the guessing game of when you press a button if they get flashed or not. So I've taken the LED off of Mira's black mirror and I've put it on the front of Blitz's shield so this is what it will look like. So we can see from 12 meter mark it would be red. It can't pick up anyone in front of us. If we press the flash, you know, it's still red. We know nothing happened. Come forward a bit more and here we are at the 7 meter mark and it turns yellow. So we know they would get partially flashed. As you can see, uh, Mute's hold up his hand. So yeah, he did get, part uh, he did get flashed. And four meters and closer, it would show green and they would get the full flash effect. And for this part right here, um, some people still don't know that Blitz's shield works off a wireless signal. So yeah, Mute can disrupt Blitz's flash. Down at the bottom, you can see it's grayed out, but I guess if you're showing somebody, you're not going to really be looking down there. So. That would, you know, it'd be even better because you would see the LEDs in front of you. You'd know when all of them turn off that mute would be disrupting your signal. And lastly is Tachanka. Yes, Lord Tachanka. There was so much hype around this Tachanka buff. And I can tell you it was the most disappointing shit I've ever seen. They just gave him a bulletproof shield. So he's still a useless operator. But no, he just has a bulletproof shield on his um, LMG. I'm going to choose my words carefully so I don't make this video go on too long because this could easily turn into a rant. But uh, this is how I propose we fix uh, Tachanka. First of all, we, you know, they fix the bulletproof shield. Look at the corners. The corners can hide an entire person if they're at the right angle. Like, you wouldn't know where you're getting shot from until you, like, swing the whole turret around, you know, or you're dead. Like, someone creeps up on the other end of the stairs. And you just drop them dead, you know where you got shot from. It would be because that corner of this bulky looking bulletproof glass was hiding them. So I propose we get rid of that bulletproof glass and we focus on the turret again. So, who is the most annoying operator to go up against? No, not Pulse. He got patched. Not Kavera. She got patched. But Montaigne. Montaigne is now the most annoying operator to go up against. He and any other shield operator are fucking nuisance. They're bullet sponges. Now I would expect a right shield to stop small arms fire, but this is a mounted LMG. I would expect this to chew straight through that shield. If not the shield, then the glass at least. Yes, that is what I'm proposing, that Tachanka's turrets should be able to break the glass in the right shields. Now think how that would change the game. I know that you have once in your life, at least once, came across an entire team of people playing recruits with riot shields, or that one person who always plays the chanka and stands up in the doorway while their team does whatever behind. Now, they've made the riot shields more resistant to C4, so we can't just chuck a C4 and blow him up and move him out the doorway. We can't do that anymore. How do we get around this? No. Tachanka. If we have a Tachanka 
and you know though the enemy team likes to play right shields we pick him and we can break the glass out of the front of the right shield I think that would change things tremendously like people would think twice when they see Chachankano at this point if you're watching you're either for this idea or you're against it if you're against it and you're there thinking um, what's the point of calling a bulletproof glass if bullets can break it so easily then that's how I felt when they nerfed Blackbeard yes I'm a Blackbeard main and I'm still salty that they nerfed him into the fucking ground but I'm not gonna rant we'll leave that for next week's video <laughs> um, past the 10 minute mark so I'm gonna try to wrap this up pretty quick this is another video I did um, this is a layer of Blackbeard shield breaking over Montaigne shield you know just to simulate uh, what I mean by Tachanka's turret will be able to break the glass after a certain amount of damage. So, you know, there won't be bullet sponges anymore. When the shield breaks, you either, you know, run or, you know, you'll get shot in the face. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. What do you think of my ideas? If you have any ideas on how to improve these three operators, then you can leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd like to see what you have. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like, uh, share, and subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege commentaries. New uploads every Wednesday. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.